Hello there and welcome back everyone. I think I've successfully managed to win a war for a change. Well, to be fair, I kind of stole some worlds from the Kryn there, but it didn't quite go how I hoped for, for that war at least, but now I am about ready to completely remove the dragon from this campaign. I just gotta get this transport ship safely to the dragon world. And with diplomacy slowly deteriorating, well, actually, apparently my relations are starting to go up for some reason. Why is that? Why the... Why is suddenly the Iconians having positive relations with me there? I find it interesting. Maybe the modifiers are not enough for them to straight up hate me? Because they no longer see me as a warmongering race, so... I think I'm doing okay with that. I think that's a plus, and it's also benefiting relations with everyone else, which is kind of surprising, because maybe that United Planet thing actually worked to my favor, because I'm still technically at war with the dragon, so I don't know what exactly happened there. Also, I just finished my research, but I can't remember what the tech was I was aiming for. I think it was for, oh, I think it was for the solar power plants, if I remember correctly, so that is actually done. And I think, since we're going to be in a bit of a lull period, I want to passively increase my research. As well as any, like, production maybe, but I think the focus will be on my research, because otherwise my production is already as it is, as it needs to be, I imagine, because I can build a handful of bandits whenever I need it. As well as a bunch of construction ships, which I'm probably going to need to kind of out for the for the increased influence at the very least along the outskirts of my territory. So, a lot of little things to keep an eye on. Let's see, hives in place with some terraforming slots I could put more around it. At least more slave camps or rather factories to kind of boost the raw production even further. Because honestly, when should as far as I'm concerned with my experience with the Hive, it feels like I should always have this at least partially surrounded by factories that can boot or anything that can boost its manufacturing. Because that additional percentage to raw production is pretty significant. Even with like the fourth population I'm currently at on this world, on Kona, the manufacturing is quite respectful for it being balanced out. Even if it is all factories technically, or slave camps, I don't know if there's really a difference. It doesn't really look like it though, but I never did compare the, the two just yet. Oh, what am I doing? Get these survey ships out of the territory. If anything, I just want to scout around and keep an eye on things. I don't want to make an enemy of the Cryclon just yet when I'm finally starting to get positive relations with them. So, maybe that's exactly what happened there. Maybe I'm fine that United Plants degree there actually gave me or nullified. The, that I'm a warmongering trait. That's the only thing, re, thing I can think of. Oh, no, I didn't bother to build anything. Mainly because there's nothing to build, so... What do I want to get? If anything, I want to start removing some of these slave camps for maybe research or something else. So, let me start by destroying this. And see... If anything... Let me just get a colonial hospital here and focus on the population growth. I might get another farm here, and once the population's up a little bit, I might replace this for a research lab or something. Also, I need to make use of this Hyperion matrix, so... How is the research world here, Tarkraman, whatever you call it? Tarak... Tiakraman. I hope that's relatively close to how you pronounce the damn world. That's the hope anyway. But yeah, I kind of need, well, I kind of need a terraforming slot down here. Actually, I shouldn't need a terraforming slot because I could just put it right there where that one research lab is. And I'm hoping a terraforming slot in the future I could put here. But 45 turns to build. That doesn't sound promising, does it? I might leave it be for now. If anything, I'll wait till that farm finishes first. And with the population, it will start to benefit work for me. At least later on down the road. 
So I should probably get started on that now, because I, after all, I am planning to eventually get a, a financial capital here too. And since I'm seeing approval starting to drop down a bit, I may want to boost it up for the raw production as well, as the additional influence certainly doesn't hurt when you consider my plans I had in mind for last episode, trying to keep the other races at bay. And yes, it was the solar plant I just researched. So, if anything, when I start upgrading this, maybe I can replace the Duranium Refinery and put that next to the hives, at least of any of my manufacturing worlds, so... Entertainment Capital. I... I'm gonna have to hold on to that, because I don't know what world will benefit most from that. Because my capital's already kind of like... All the slots are pretty much taken there. And I'm certain... I will want to use it there ideally, because that's going to have the biggest population, considering the number of hexes I have to work with. Nonetheless, what was I thinking of? Oh yeah, approval. So, Intimidation Center... I might as well put it here, because this is doesn't have the production to justify any real... Yeah, it doesn't have the production to justify any sort of like Hyperion stuff, because the Hyperion shipyard and all that I already put on my capital which does have the produ production. And if needed, if culture does become an issue, then I could just put my military... What do they call Military... I'm trying to find the damn thing. Because I don't know where it's at. Oh, Military Academy, that's what I was looking for. I could just put it right here. And that will help with her assistance a bit, because it is pretty damn low. Oh. And... I was going to say the... I don't even know what the names are. Damn it, it's at the tip of my tongue. Icadians, Arcanians. They have a medium ship there. Oh, it's not a medium ship. I take that back. Judging by the picture down below and the fact the, the icon there, I thought it was actually a medium scale ship. So that must have been something they got from the serv the wreckage. Okay, I'm all right with that. I was, I was kind of worried at first. Now to hunt for that mercenary ship continues. Because I'm still wondering what happened to that other second ship? Or may... Is it possible? Is it seriously... Oh no, it's still it's still around. It has 81 health. Maybe? No, wait. Oh, that's mass. Okay. So what am I looking at here? Why is the mass so much different? Oh, it's what it's taking up. Of the max available to mass, okay. Yeah, but I'm kind of wondering. Did I did I seriously somehow kill the nail? Cause you think I would have seen it by now? That's the only excuse I can think of. And there's no way a single bandit could have killed that, right? I'm baffled by it, so I don't know what to think. Either way, my plan to get culture back is going to continue in mining ring. Why? Oh, uh, there's a mine. It's saying I can build a mining ring because it's solium, but I don't care about that. Speaking of which, I should upgrade my mining ring at some point too to benefit from that. So, we'll get some extra culture stuff or influence. Oh, I should have gotten that culture form. I didn't realize that was there. Should have got that to help influence that. And then I'll probably put a second one down here, a little bit closer to the plant to give it even more influence bo boost. And these two are going to enhance the my science world's improval. If I can find a space where I can put the star bases safely. Because there's, there's a mess of star bases everywhere. And since my plan's on relations, I should build me a couple of freighters. I think I can do two trade routes, so I'm okay with doing this here. Now the question is, who do I want relations boosted up with? Probably the Cryclons, because it they are like the only ones on my flank, essentially, because I'm going to be focusing all my effort on the right and south here. Because there's so many other factions that could be a threat, and the Cryclon are basically on the opposite end. So if they decide to backstab me, they're going to have a prime opportunity to take my worlds. So, I think I'm going to do that, but I... Let me see, can I find out how much trade routes I have? I have three actually available. 
So that's good to know. So I can technically do Chryset, the home world there, and do Secleon for a second one. And I don't think they have any there's any large any other large worlds that I can benefit trade from with the Cryclons and Elise. So it's probably just be those two for now. And then like I said, I can focus my efforts on the south as well as enhancing my infrastructure. And of course, just getting rid of the sailings from the game. Which I'm still wondering where the hell that mercenary ship went. I still refuse to believe I killed it. That's the only explanation I could think of. Because they were together, after all. The bludgeon and the nail. And it was only a single bandit. I don't think it had that crazy RNG luck with its evasion to survive both of them long enough to kill a mercenary ship, right? It's I'm I'm probably gonna be obsessed with that forever until I actually find it or actually see that I can buy it for trade. I think that's the only way we could come to a reasonable conclusion on that chapter. Whatever the hell happened to that one little little mercenary ship. Now terraforming slots done. I've been ranting on forever, and I completely lost track of what I wanted. Mainly it looks like population approval is good and I still got plenty of population to go so maybe I just get a hospital here because hell double the population growth just in a single turn sounds nice to me. And then I'll boost. Is it ideal to boost my research here? Because yeah my man I'm not on I'm not doing manufacturing focus so it'll work just as well. It'll work just as well on the research, so I'm okay with that. Now, otherwise we played a way game, I guess. Because the only other thing I really care about at the moment is Ren 2 and my trade routes, but there's nothing else to do here for a good long while. Unless I want to start... Well, I don't want to work on the capital now until everything's upgraded. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Wait till everything's upgraded, then I'll do the capital. So that way I'm not wasting potential income. Which is actually going really nicely now. So I could possibly buy a cheaper mercenary ship, but I think I'll save that between recordings. So I have a better idea of what I want rather than to go through all of them one at a time. Because there might be a unique trait to one of them that would be useful for me. Nonetheless... The path is clear. I think it's safe to say the dragon are now non-existent and okay they want me to remove the starbase and I am not going to do that. Uh, I don't mind irritating him a little bit. Let's see. Like, So yeah this is all straightforward. Only seven population. Geez. I did lose half of my infantry though. So the population is still a little bit low but It'll recover relatively quickly. Yeah, especially with 0 0.3 growth per turn. I'm not worried. It's already got good production. Ooh, what is this? Viper is... Am, am I understanding? The, I'm hoping this boosts my manufacturing for the, enti for the entire empire. Oh, it's a trade resource. So yeah, it, it does boost my entire empire. So I like it. Thank you, Dragon, for holding off to that for me. Other than that, it looks like we got a bunch of potential influence boosts here. And not much else. So, the routine is probably pretty general. I'm going to put a hospital here. Actually, I should make that my focus, because it's already suffering from population. Let it get maxed out. And then I'll worry about what I'm going to do with it. Because more population means more raw production for whatever I have in mind. And that should strengthen my economy infrastructure incredibly well. Now, the real question is how do I want to advance forward? Because I got a lot of options here and I got this damn starbase in the way. So I'm going to have to back up a little bit sadly. I don't know how far I can back up because I have my own starbase kind of in the way. Okay, I think I'm safe here. But it's not close enough to Crux. I need support field for that, damn it. I was not paying attention. 
but with the support field, I'll easily be able to reach in there and then boost cult influence a little bit more. Not that it's really an issue, because now my influence is skyrocketed with Dragon. But that should be enough. At least that should be enough. Now I gotta f figure out how I can do the same over here. Unless I want to just put one down here and then one support the planet. Which again, I gotta find a nice blind spot where I can put a constructor at. And that was not a construction ship. I misclicked the survey ship. Not that it really matters. Not that it really matters. So... I lost my train of thought, damn it. I saw... I was expecting a call there and my eyes just turned to the phone that's kind of ringing. Uh, where was I? Oh yeah, survey ship. I headed over here to watch the border. Which, look at the size of that fleet. Wow, they have 20 logistics already. Maybe I need to build a lot more ships to keep them from wanting to murder my ass because I cannot take on even a single one of those fleets. On the plus side though, at least the Cryclons are doing better than the rest of the damn AI in the game. Well, with the exception of the Iconians. Because I kind of coaxed them to build a military after all, so I think that is partly my fault. For them being dominant right now. But they're still in third place and I have a massive power advantage from basically taking the dragon worlds. Huh. Do the dragon actually have another planet? Because I figured they would... Huh. I figured they'd be out of the game by now. There could be something down here. Let me have a look. I don't have much for life support range though, so I'm gonna have to check with something else. At the very least, I have a constructor here to kind of boost my travel distance. I can't build one though, damn it, there's a shipyard somewhere. Or starbase, damn it, so much for that idea. I'm gonna have to go with another turn. Try to find that damn sweet spot. And what do I need? Oh, I was planning on the research capital, so. Might as well get started on that. Might as well. It's going to be 40 turns though. Which is going to take a while. But hopefully the 50% research and plus 5 research boost to these is going to be tremendous. So hopefully it will be worth it. Cost to buy it. Uh, 3,000 billion credits. I am not rushing that anytime soon. I think it's safe to say. Now... Let's see, I have one more freighter being built, and then I can go back to military production, I feel. And damn it, figures the Cryclons are invading my space, so... I suppose what I should do... Well, I already trade with them not long ago, didn't I? Oh, actually, I can trade with them. So let me open up and open, open boards with them. At least then I won't have to feel as annoyed about it, and maybe I can get something from it. Yeah, of course, the the proposal for them is hardly worth it. Only 99 credits, so... At least I could get something from it, but is there anything else I want? Ooh, that raw production? Allows use of stealth form of government. I'm assuming that's a passive 10% raw production boost, which I like. I like the sounds of that a lot. And now, while I'm here, how many damn fireflies do they have? Is it me, or does it say they have 56 fireflies? It can't seriously be that many, right? I know they sort it by number here. It's 5, 10... They certainly don't have 50, but I'm wondering why the hell it goes up to 55. If not more, jeez. I hope I don't have a handful of... When I... If... War is to eventually happen. Now, what the hell can I give them that I don't that I'd be comfortable with? Well, I'm gonna have to give them something unless I want to give them the nanites, which technically is kind of just as bad. Well, let's see. They already got plenty of production, so that's fine. Let's see. And they want. They'll need a lot of credits if I want to buy it.
What am I comfortable giving them? They want, let's see, practical fusion, is that, am I willing to give that away? I guess. I guess I'll allow it. That may have been a dumb idea. But I'm on the good side, I think I'm okay. And hopefully the open borders will actually help our relations some. Yeah, open border tree actually gave them a massive positive, so... Even though it wouldn't stop them from barging on my territory, it actually was a smart idea. Oh, and I guess the dragon our home have no home. At first I thought they were out of the game, because normally, after a turn or two, they would be non-existent. So, I wonder what's different. Maybe they still have the military ship in the mercenary that's keeping me in, I'm not sure. Nonetheless, let me get this, there we go, starbase going. Now, I'll just get a culture ring and perimeter scanner because it's not going to benefit me in any other way. Because I think a military ring is kind of pointless. I think it's safe to say, because there's nothing of value down here regardless. So, at best, this scanner is going to be the best one I can enjoy. Ooh. I think I found where the Terran Alliance is at, and it's just as I suspected, I think. They are way over in this little cluster, I, I think. Is it Terran Alliance? I'm assuming it's the Terran Alliance, because I recognize the color. Yeah. Unless it's another starbase. It could it could easily be another starbase taking up that territory. Now, starbase here. We'll keep the culture going. And hopefully... That should be good. Can't... I would love... To get my inf... Damn it. There's no way I can get close enough to plant. So I'm gonna have to build one here and then get a support field at some point. To kind of help with the influence, pushing it back at least. But I think I, I feel okay with that now. It should help hold back the Krykon's culture at least, if only a little bit. And then, give it some time, the Dragon influence will swallow the Iconians whole. Here's hoping that I can push it back with my overwhelming culture. Then, now, what do I want to want to do to Kona? Because I got the hospital up. I think I I just focus on the growth then, max that out, and then figure out what I can do with this raw production. Ooh. At least, ne well, actually, yeah, I was might as well get a shipyard because I don't even have one over here. So, I could connect those three worlds together and at least still give me another angle for building military ships. Because the hospital's there, that's going to grow quickly. Ooh, and the terraforming's done. Perfect. And I'm already getting close to max out, so I don't need a hospital here. Well, it'll be about 10 turns, so... No real rush for it, but... I'm not even gonna... Yeah, the problem is I'm gonna be missing... I'm not gonna be micromanaging or babysitting these worlds too much to really notice. It's the only problem. So... I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to be efficient there, but... I know for a fact I'm not going to be babysitting the worlds that much because I'm hardly even looking at the right here. Which is kind of convenient because my snowball mic is conveniently right in front of it, so... you think I would be noticing that more, but I hardly notice the damn uh, plant production cues. Not to mention, it doesn't really say much here, unless I willingly hover over to know what its max population is, so... There is that. Now... Really? Like I said, there's not much to do here but relax. And let, yeah, let the... I'll happily let the Krykulans destroy the star bases for me. I don't need them and it's killing some of their ships in the process, so... Win-win for me as far as I'm concerned. Although... I, I do need to be weary. Well, do I need to be weary? I have such positive relations with them. There's... Seems to be no conceivable way they'll go to war with me, but I don't know what motivates them to rapidly go to war with someone. Because hell, even the Iconians are starting to get positive relations with me. And I was at war with them, keep that in mind. So, the passive research is done. I can get even more research sensors, which sounds promising. Or, I can get, what is this? 
Only one per player. It doesn't seem that significant. I might as well save that till I'm, I have another terraforming slot. Then I could put that right next to the Hyperion Research Lab or whatever it's called. But let me focus on upgrading my hives because those are going to be really helpful for me. I don't care about maintenance, I think. So I'm going to reduce the production. And I am now swimming a good amount of wealth. I am happy for that. I am happy for that, and hopefully I could put to use for something. I just have to really know what's the best use for the income. Probably anything I want, really. I just wonder what's best for best bang for my buck, essentially, which probably is for trading, if I were to be honest. And why am I seeing indicator here? What was just bought? Because I already know the Cryclons got those two ships. Oh. The Cryclans probably got a third mercenary ship. They are swimming in wealth. And I'm wondering how the hell they're doing it. Because they got a massive amount of production and all that as well. Let's see. Because Chrysa has no wealth. Secleon has respectable wealth and, res and good production in that. But you can't possibly have enough. Unless they're trading to get more income. I honestly don't really know. And that's kind of what infuriates me. Because I love being able to know all the nuances. It makes it so much more easier to know what's going on. Rather than feeling like the bots are cheating, essentially. Now, I think the reason that the dragon are actually not removed from the game is because of this damn colony ship right here. So I think I want to get rid of that. Yeah, and there's a dragon shipyard here that has this antimatter. Which actually, I would love to get the antimatter because it means I can use it for some missile weaponry. Which sounds really promising. So, the freighters are done. I have one more trade slot, but I think I'm going to get some more sh military ships. At the very least, I want to match the Cryclons in military might. Or at least be able to fight them off in a worst case situation. But, I don't think I actually have... The logistics to fight them off properly so they're still gonna murder me with like seven size fleets unless I can get the same logistics so I'm gonna have to work on that because I think I can safely say the Iconians are not a threat to me now which is kind of sad we need some conflict which once I get the military considering I'm no longer considered warmongering I could probably just straight up take out the Iconians Ooh. Oh, first trade route. Okay, so that's now underway. Now, how much income am I getting from that? Only seven credits. It's not much, but I'll happily take it regardless. Plus the population. How's the population? I think it's not quite maxed out. I'm just going to assume it's not, so... But yeah. I think I can start preparing myself to deal with Iconians now and then things are gonna slowly snowball out of control from there and if I can time this so incredibly well what are my ideology points at oh my god I'm so close to getting my second benevolent points this would be amazing if I can go if go to war with the Iconians destroy them at the same time I get my second benevolent point and then suddenly my race is no longer pragmatic and catch everyone off guard. At least that's how I'm gonna imagine it. It's timing out perfectly well for that.